Good morning, and welcome to Pastor's House Call on another beautiful day in the neighborhood, as often is quoted. And uh, thank you for being here today. And this, by the way, is the very last Pastor's House Call. And so, uh, you know, hopefully you've enjoyed these weeks and months that we've been able to get together for, you know, a few short minutes and just to you know, reflect on the Lord and his love for each and every one of us. And so, again, I just... Uh, Thank you for the privilege of being able to come into your house and uh, share these uh, brief moments with you. And hopefully uh, the days ahead, you'll just have uh, been able to talk about uh, how it's impacted your life a little bit and made you uh, a little more uh, open to the love and the grace of Jesus Christ. You know, Psalm 84 says, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord. My soul longs for the courts of the Lord, and my heart sings for the joy of being with the living God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, again, we just thank you and praise you, Lord, for just the, the privilege of being able to come into your presence and, and to experience uh, the wonders of your love and grace. Lord, I thank you for each and every person who just uh, takes the time to, to just want to meditate on, on that love and grace in these uh, short little meditations, and that, Lord, you'll continue to bless each and every one. That, uh, just uh, allow your spirit to continue to uh, radiate through each and every life, uh, illuminate your word and your study and their time in prayer. And, and Lord, just bless each one as they uh, seek to indeed uh, rejoice in your presence and to uh, discover how lovely is your dwelling place, O oh Lord, and that is with your presence. We ask all of this in Christ's precious name. Amen. Can you imagine anything greater than being told by God that you whether a man or woman, are a person after God's own heart. I mean, think about it. That's amazing. And that's how God described his friend David. He was a man after God's own heart. Now, Psalm 84 is believed to have been written by David while he was in exile from Jerusalem, exile from that temple, because this was the period of time when his son Absalom had rebelled against David and driven him out of Jerusalem and away from that temple. And David mourns the loss of being able to be uh, in the presence of God. Now, this psalm reveals a great deal about the heart of David. He was a man who deeply loved his Lord. And there was no place on planet Earth that was so special to him as that one place where God had chosen to reveal his presence. And that is the temple of Jerusalem. In that temple, David always felt the special presence of God. It allowed somehow for him to experience a sense of, of awe and delight as he knew he was in that presence. Because David encountered God there unlike anywhere else in his life. And he would say, how lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord. My soul longs for you, my Lord. You know, Martin Luther once said, at home in my house, there is no warmth or vigor in me. But in that church, when that multitude is gathered, a fire is kindled in my heart like nowhere else. David said, The one thing I desire of the Lord is that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may behold the beauty of the Lord. It is said that the desires of one heart reveals the condition of one's soul. And God said of David, Here is a man after my own heart. The house of the Lord as a place for everyone. You know, the psalm says that even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for itself. In other words, whether a permanent dweller like the sparrow or a sojourner like the, the swallow, the house of the Lord is a place to find rest for your soul, peace for your heart, and comfort for the weary. In the house of the Lord, there's a place for every believer and a place for every seeker. Blessed are those who dwell in the house of the Lord whether priest, pilgrim, or visitor. The Lord will bless anyone who seeks and finds their strength in him. For on those who seek him, says the psalm, the Lord bestows favor and honor, and no good thing does God withhold from those who walk in his ways. Blessed is the one who trusts in you, O Lord. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. And so do I, my friends. <laughs>